there are chains that will be loose right now there are people who have been tied down by yokes nobody rising from your family nobody excelling women becoming the men in that family whereas the men are subjugated in shame now thanks be to god he says which always causes us to triumph hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. Now you're going to shout the name Jesus. I will instruct that you shout the name Jesus at the count of three. That name that has been so exalted above every other name. And the Bible says that at that name every knee will bow of things in heaven, earth and under the earth. And that every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father. I want to pray. I'm going to be ministering the power of God to bring captivity to an end now and all those listen all those who are under the anointing under this decree please i want you to bring them out as i pray there are two people right now who will shout under the anointing one inside one outside this is what god is telling me the moment that happened i'm ready to pray for them bring them out that's not the shout the shout is coming there is a loud shout inside now the power of god is going to come on someone and why god does these things i honestly do not know these are just signs and wonders manifestations of his spirit there is a loud shout when that shout comes you will know that is the shout the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous and god does these things as prophetic acts hallelujah praise the name of the lord so once that shout comes please bring them out then I begin to pray are you ready to pray now thank you Jesus at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus and as you shout that name I'm seeing chains I'm even hearing the sounds of chains chains that have been tying men it's time for you to be free now father i come by this apostolic and prophetic mandate and in the name of jesus over takuradi i decree and declare that every gate and every ancient door that has tied down lives tied down ministries i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and i decree and declare in the name of him who died and rose again that at this shout let every chain that has bound you give way now are you ready at the count of three one two three shout jesus be loose now be loose now be loose now bring them out in the name of jesus i decree and declare every covenant yokes of ancestry manifestations of darkness in the name of jesus the lord rebuke you 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 in the name of jesus christ the lord rebuke you hallelujah now the lord is showing me a vision i'm seeing the feet of people tied with chains and the lord is saying i should lose it i don't know where that person is in the name of jesus let that fire rest on you now i lose that chain i lose that chain right now every ancient chain that has tied you down tied your ministry down be loose now be loose now in the name of jesus christ
I'm seeing a very strange vision. Listen, I'm seeing this your ocean, this your river. I'm seeing something in the middle opening up and I'm seeing something come out like a sea creature and the Lord is saying to destroy Leviathan in the name of Jesus. I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic that every spirit over this climate lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted over Takoradi in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with all the men of God here and we make proclamations every spirit that has tied destinies down covenants with the waters covenants with the earth let Dagon fall before the ark let Dagon fall before the ark let Dagon fall before the ark. Let Dagon fall before the ark. Let Dagon fall before the ark in the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. Hallelujah. Please hear me. The Lord is saying I should pray. When the front is full, you just hold the people. There may not be any more space to bring them out. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should pray for men. There is a spirit that has held the hands of men so that they don't seem to rise. He said, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, I saw four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, against Israel, so that no man could lift up his head. He said, But I have sent four carpenters. I come as a privileged carpenter tonight. Every horn that has tied any man here, Makapras Katabalakatosh, those chains be broken now. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to rebuke a spirit that does not allow ministry to rise. Jesus said, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I don't know which man of God is sincere but has struggled because it looks like these horns want to keep you down. In the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every ceiling over your ministry, every ceiling that is frustrating you, I decree and declare, I push you to the next level of your prophetic assignment. I push you by the Spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ministers of the gospel? I saw fire coming on you. I stretch my hands. Let that grace rest on you now. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take that grace now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power within your spirit to excel, to rise, to thrive. Everything tying you down, be loose from it now. Hallelujah. Please listen. In Judges chapter 6, when the angel of the Lord came and met a young boy called Gideon, he told him, he said, thou mighty man of fellow and Gideon said no I am the least in my father's house ay, 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 ay. and he said my father's family is the least I said that to describe somebody in this meeting that you may think you are the least but fire is coming from heaven oh Gideon where are you arise I call you by the voice of prophecy Gideon arise arise to be empowered arise like a warrior that you are i release that mantle over you gideon arise gideon arise gideon arise blow the shofar 
blow the shofar. Let the army arise that will defeat the Midianites in the name of Jesus Christ. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my hand. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Give my glory, the lifter up of my head. Give my glory, the lifter up of my head. Hela shalaga baraga da barake segete bosh. Rada balaka fraska da belege beria ta sobraska nigadesh shavrasaka da beleke ta pranda gabarakushka pranda Now hear me. The Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that there are going to be seven prophetic worshippers. Please hear me. There are many worshippers I presume in Ghana and Takoradi, but there are seven prophetic worshippers that God is going to raise from this nation seven prophetic worshipers not just musicians men who understand the art of worship after the order of david worship is a ladder in the spirit seven prophetic worshipers there is a grace that is mantling men and women who have been called into the ministry of psalmistry i know that some of you are here you are called into the ministry of psalmistry i want to translate you today from being a musician to being a worshiper there is a difference let that grace rest on you now take that fire oh you will write the songs of miriam miriam said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea receive the grace to write songs songs of revival songs of power word compliant songs in the name of jesus christ I sense in my spirit to release a grace upon end time kingdom financiers. There are men and women. Ah, after the order of Joseph of Rimathia, there are men and women here. The grace that will come on you, you will handle resources for the kingdom. I decree and declare, where are they? These end time financial apostles over Ghana. Take that grace. Take that grace. The grace to do business in deep waters. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus, the prince of Tyre and Sidon will not be able to stop you. You will prosper even as your soul prospers. financial apostles mighty grace is coming upon you mighty grace is coming upon you ordinary men will arise within a short time commanding resources for the kingdom hallelujah let me pray for those in front here and release them in the name of Jesus every spirit that has manipulated anyone here I speak as one sent release them now release them now your yoke over them by the blood of the eternal covenant it speaks against you therefore pack your load and live your life now 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 in the name of Jesus the Bible says he who the Son sets free is free indeed therefore I declare your liberty in Christ you are free indeed and free forever in the name of jesus 
as many who can go back to their seats you can gently carry them those who are under the anointing just leave them but as many who are strong to return back to their seats please let them return hallelujah I'm seeing a man that is great but something has covered your glory nobody is able to see what you stand for you are a man of God you are sincere doing ministry with integrity but why you cannot rise to global visibility you do not know and the Lord is saying to lose that veil I decree and declare over the ministers of the gospel whose glories have been covered I stand here as a privileged servant of God let your glory be unveiled now be unveiled now in the name of Jesus that right from where you are let the nations place a demand upon you in the name of Jesus Christ there is a hear ye him anointing it is a grace for visibility being gifted is not enough when that grace is not upon you you can be Joseph you will still be in the prison may that grace that hear ye him anointing is not only for men of God it can give businesses visibility it can give every other thing visibility may that grace rest upon you now hallelujah please don't be distracted I want you to pay attention God is doing something in your spirit there is someone God is showing me you are going to start a prophetic prayer meeting this is what I'm saying God has been training you but there is a mantle mighty mantle that is coming upon you you will steer the hearts of men to pray and you will see results in prayer I don't know who that person is but from heaven may that grace rest now may that grace rest now I impart upon you that grace steer an army for Jesus steer an army for Jesus men of prayer and character and consecration and fire in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah before I pray for the sick the Lord is asking me to release one grace that many people need is called the finishers anointing my Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work there are many people who start things that they do not finish they start businesses and a spirit comes to sit upon their progress they get a job and they do not rise to the zenith of their career there is the finishers anointing I decree and declare if it is true that God is alpha over your life then I declare may he be the Omega you will not start and end in shame receive the finishers anointing in business receive the finishers anointing students receive the finishers anointing in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me please ladies and gentlemen please listen to me listen to me I want to pray for the sick do you know why the healing ministry is powerful and it is needed I'm saying this because I'm not only going to pray for the sick somebody here must carry a genuine healing anointing no lies no stage management no crooks no 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 nonsense and wasting no 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 genuine potent grace many years ago I traveled to a Renhard Bonke crusade I was already a man of God but I desired the healing grace genuinely I didn't want to deceive God's people playing games with their intelligence there was a crowd of people tens of thousands of people and that first night I stood there 
and the man came up blessed memory simple message and he preached I saw mighty wonders of God's power by the second day I came early I said I do not just want to be a spectator I want to serve that anointing and so when I came they were willing people and I said please let me help they said no I was not trained in the committee I said committee or not you don't know where I'm coming from I came with hunger in my spirit while I was willing the people to the front I said Lord this is how it will also happen in my meetings because the Bible says without all contradiction the less is blessed of the greater can I tell you when your oil finishes the Bible says go to them that sell and buy there are men that have been given they are custodians of this grace Paul says we are stewards of the mystery go to them that sell and buy buy with hunger buy with humility buy with meekness by the second day my hunger and desperation had gotten to the heavens and when he preached a simple message he was about to drink a cup of water and then minister to the sick when my eyes were opened and I saw this giant bird hovering around the entire crusade ground I thought others were seeing it but I was the only one who was seeing it it was not flying it was soaring and the spirit of God took me to Genesis 1 verse 2 and the spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters and the Lord told me the union of the movement of the spirit and the spoken word is what produces the miraculous by the time I came back to myself I had backed the stage and that began the beginning of a dimension of signs and wonders I'm saying that because I want to pray for the sick because of our time I'm not sure we may have the time it is it's always sad that we don't have the time to testify but at least let me pray for you we still have other sessions and you can testify I need to pray for you two things to pray for the sick but then to also release that grace let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen I'm sure you are learning by now that the days of superstar Christianity is over God is not it's not about one man and shining men it's about men who have been privileged to touch the grace of God freely giving that grace to as many who desire so that the body of Christ be empowered when one candle lights another it does not reduce the light on the first one as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus. We believe, Jesus. There is healing in your name, Jesus. There is healing in your name. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Ale Shabakos. The saints and the angels bow. Help him. The redeemed worship you now. Hallelujah. I want you to place your hand everywhere you are trusting God for a miracle. Go ahead by faith. The power of God is moving here to heal. Do you know why healing is important? Everybody please look up. Let me teach you something for one minute before I pray for you. Do you know why healing is very important? I will tell you. Healing is important because everybody is only given one body per lifetime. You are only entitled to one body per lifetime and based on the law of territory your longevity what you call life what you call longevity only depends on the health of your body 
there is a health requirement for your spirit to remain in your body and when your body is so deteriorated beyond a certain threshold your spirit will be mandated by design to leave that body whether your time on earth is there or not so every time satan afflicts you it is death in a measure the goal of sickness is to deteriorate the various parts of your body hopefully that it will keep graduating until you get to a point where the health requirement needed for your longevity it can come as high blood pressure it can come as diseases it can come as nameless satanic sicknesses that cannot be diagnosed medically here's what the bible says acts 10 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil. The Bible says, for God was with him. In Matthew chapter 10, I believe, from verse 8, the Bible says, as ye go preach, say in verse 7, the kingdom of heaven is within your reach. It is at hand prove the validity of that kingdom verse 8 by healing the sick verse 8 now cleansing the lepers raising the dead and casting out devils he says freely you have received freely give so when we pray for the sick it's more than showing that a man of God is anointed it is God dis speaking to you that he desires you to live long and strong I've been a victim of sickness I know what it means to be oppressed. If you have not been sick, you will not know the value of healing. Everything in your life is forced to mark time, your business, and everything. Ask a dying man. His greatest desire is not more money. Hezekiah was told by a prophet that he was about to die. Can I tell you, when you feel pain here and you say no problem, you have given Satan license to multiply it. You see, in the early church, in Acts chapter 12, the Bible says that certain, the Jews were vexed and that Herod set himself to vex certain Jews. And the Bible says that James was caught and beheaded and the church kept quiet. And the Bible says when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to catch Peter. So every time Satan launches an attack and you keep quiet and justify it, he proceeds further. Proceeds further. I've been oppressed by sickness. I know what it means. Preachers, there is an attack on men of God to see that because there are many people connected to you, the devil will just want to sweep you away. There are men Satan does not want to backslide. He wants them to die. Because once they are out of the scene, it will be a big loss for the body of Christ. Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? Keep your hands there now. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne And unto you we lift our voice in praise You're the Lamb upon the throne I want to rebuke sickness now And I want you to believe with all your heart If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest and by the way, you can stand for someone who is not here. The centurion stood for his son and said, I am a man under authority, having men under me. I say to one, go and he goes. Come and he comes. He says, speak the word only. I want to pray. Agree with me as you shout a loud amen when I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help them every spirit of infirmity you don't have to bring them out in the name that is above all names i declare leave god's people now leave god's people now now in the name of jesus christ 
be healed right now be healed right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your your feet let that healing fire flow through your body right now let that healing fire cleanse your blood right now your organs right now in the name of jesus I command eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus every deaf ear here partially or totally deaf be open now everyone here with difficulty in walking bone problems life to your limbs right now in the name of Jesus Christ anyone who is not able to move any part of your body I command begin to move it now there's someone you have severe pain at the right side of your neck the Lord is revealing it to me I command healing right now healing right now every blood situation here any medical condition here represented that is blood related I don't care how long it has been let your blood apparatus I'm sensing fire leaving my hands in the name of Jesus your blood be cleansed now your blood be cleansed now somebody from the back the right side the hand of God is resting upon you your blood is being cleansed right now in the name of Jesus Christ any growth in your body any part of your body satanic lump around your bodies in the name of Jesus let those growths die and dissolve out of your body shout a believing amen I'm seeing a vision and I'm seeing someone's father having kidney issues you're having issue of kidney in the name of Jesus, we pray for Baba wherever he is. Whether he's in a hospital, he's overseas. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, let healing rest upon our Father right now. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying I should rebuke the spirit of death. Why am I seeing people gather like an obituary? And that a few weeks after now, someone just left like that in the name of jesus i don't know which family that is but by the power of the holy spirit help them please death you are a spirit and i speak to you let god's people go now that you help them my god help them that plague of death i command release god's people now that the fullness of their days they fulfill in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here called barren, you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for no matter how long. I want to pray for you right where you are. Place your hand on your stomach as a sign of faith right now. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you as Elisha spoke to the woman in Shunem according to the time of life return with your miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is showing me just right here severe pain around your back in the name of Jesus Christ that lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now now there's someone I'm seeing you are not sick but you cannot sleep I prayed for a similar issue in the meeting before I came here once you wake up in the night that is the end of it no matter what you do it's an attack please hear me it's not just a medical condition the Lord is saying to declare your liberty for the Bible says I lay me down and I slept I wait for the Lord sustain me that he giveth his beloved sleep everyone here who has been frustrated that when you should sleep the devil keeps you awake to frustrate you in the name of Jesus 
be free from that plague now hallelujah I've seen this case that God showed me before that you are a woman you are not nursing a child but you are lactating I don't know what the medical condition is so a woman is producing breast milk but she's not with a child this is what the Lord is showing me there's someone with that situation in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now let that oppression over your body come to an end now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Lord is telling me rebuke prostrate prostrate there's someone that thing is at his infancy is now beginning to affect you you go to ease yourself you are a man and you find out there is difficulty and you've been quiet you've not shared it with many people it is a devil programming prostrate cancer in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is whether you are inside or outside I declare cancer of any sort any sort whether prostate cancer breast cancer lung cancer brain tumors in Jesus name for you or for your loved ones overseas be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone who treats malaria every month regardless what happens you treat it and a new month comes you start feeling cold and then you treat it again you've done this thing for over four months back to back the Lord is saying I should minister to you in the name of Jesus that plague leaves you once and for all Help. that plague leaves you once and for all it leaves you once and for all once and for all there is someone you have a father the man I don't know the medical people who help us he forgets things he's losing his memory this is what I'm seeing dementia is called and the Lord is asking me to pray because he's now beginning to forget people they have to tap him and remind him and say this is this it's a brain problem a coordination problem he's having and the Lord is saying we should pray for him in the name of Jesus for him and any other person suffering from dementia by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be restoration of your memory in the name of Jesus Christ now any medical situation at all whether I mentioned it directly or not provided it is not of God and it is inconsistent with the will of God I decree and declare unto you in partnership with all the graces here represented be healed now I hope you know that humans are not the only species of God's creation that can be healed in the Bible waters were healed plants were healed everything God created that has life also needs healing are we together a territory can be healed is it not in your Bible I will hear from heaven I will forgive their sins and heal their land not just their body a land can be wounded the same thing that happens to a human being can happen to a land you know when a land is, is wounded because it exhibits the symptoms of a sick person no productivity when a person is sick the first thing that happens is the bankruptcy of vitality and strength a land can be barren, bankrupt of vitality and strength that the GDP of a territory can crash down as a testament that the land is sick at that point it will need the bomb in Gilead territories can be sick I hear oil has been discovered in your area now that is good news but I want to pray that you will be blessed by it because there is a spirit that makes the blessing of a territory to only benefit strangers and that the people within the territory never eat of it the Bible says the increase of the field is for all that even the king is fed by that which comes from the field so everything that comes from the field is for all 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to be very sensitive over what I want to speak in your life now. Every door that has been closed over your life, your ministry, your destiny, your family. Look at me please. A door is an authorized system of access. You, your house has a number of rooms. Am I right on that? And those rooms are demarcated with walls and doors. Am I right? And then there is a master door without which you cannot access your house. It's a spiritual strategy that architecture borrowed. Because you see, connecting your kitchen and your living room is a door. You can be in the house, yet you are incapacitated because the door that leads from the living room to the kitchen is not there. If you are hungry, you don't need your living room. You need your kitchen. But if you do not, the door is not open, you can be limited. Closed doors mean limitations. Limitations in progress. And according to scripture, there are three ways we open doors. Number one, through the use of correct keys. When you use a correct key, a door is open. Number two, by knocking. But when you knock, it depends on the willingness of the other person. The third way to open doors permanently is the use of force. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang. And the jailers heard them. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. It rattled the foundation of the prison. And the Bible says, and all doors open. Not some. All doors. Financial doors. You see that now. Career doors open. We're about to pray. Every door, in whatever form and fashion, please receive this one. I decree and declare, over every closed door, a factor be open. Be open. Business doors be open. Ministerial doors be open. Marital doors be open. Career doors be open. Even doors for the advancement of the gospel be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I want to pray. Paul said, I desire to come to you even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Favor, desire to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Breakthrough, desire to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Everything that has been hindered from reaching you, I stand as a prophetic midwife. I push it into your hands. I push it into your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation is born? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. I don't know how long you have stayed without birthing that which is locked up in your spirit. But I have come as a midwife. Listen, listen. So you shout amen with understanding. There is a man in the Bible who was a victim of the carelessness of a midwife called Mephibosheth. He was not an evil baby. The midwife that handled his delivery was not competent enough and the man became crippled forever. It matters who help you delivering what is coming out. The carelessness of a midwife can produce a Mephibosheth. Even though he was favored by David, but he remained crippled forever. I come as a prophetic midwife. That which is long overdue in your spirit, the giftings, the visions, the dreams, the ideas, in the name of Jesus, deliver safely now. Deliver safely now. The Bible says, and there was war in heaven. A woman who was pregnant with child, a man child, about to deliver and there was a dragon that stood before her waiting to eat the child but the elements of creation cooperated with that woman and took her to a safe place i speak to the wind i speak to every element that god created may they partner with the holy ghost in your safe delivery 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Is it not in your Bible that the stars fought for Deborah? Is it not in your Bible that hailstones came from heaven on account of God's people? Is it not in your Bible that the sun stood still for Joshua? Everything God created can serve his bidding. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. Let me pray for you. Listen, I want to release a grace called honor. Do you know what honor is? Honor means to be perceived to match your true worth and to be rewarded to match that level. It is possible that you can be perceived less than your sacrifice. There are people today who have masters and PhD, but the jobs they are given is far below their sacrifice. Honor is the ability, is a grace that comes on you and compels men to see you to match your true worth and even to reward you as touching it. It says, Thou shalt take Joshua, the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit, and thou shalt lay your hands upon him, he says, and then thou shalt take some of your honor and place upon him. If honor is not upon your life, even if you have integrity, men will not listen to you. It takes honor to command the loyalty of a generation. Are you ready to receive? By this impartation, shame and reproach, that which has made mockery of your destiny, that has made men to call you Ichabod, that the glory has departed in the name of Jesus let this grace for honor rest upon you now let this grace for honor rest upon you now where you have been forgotten let honor cause remembrance for you hallelujah there was a man in the Bible called Mordecai in the book of Esther the Bible lets us know that one time some gentlemen conspired to kill Ahasuerus but he got hold of that information and he transmitted that information to the king they were apprehended and brought to justice and it was written but the man was not rewarded he remained at the gate even though the, the kingdom simply remained because of him there would not even be the issue of enthroning Esther unless that the king were alive and yet that man was not rewarded there are many of you who are the brains behind many great visions but nobody knows you and nobody will hear you there are tech companies that are thriving out of the creativity of brilliant Africans and yet they are not heard there are businesses running in Ghana there are some of you who it is through your creativity your innovation your power your stamina are we together now the dexterity of your intellectual acumen that many businesses many academic institutions stand and yet you have been ignored there was such a man in the bible his name Mordecai but the bible says and that night could not Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and they opened and he found where a man I mean Mordecai had saved his life and he said who is in the inner chamber there and they brought her man he said what should be done to such and such a man her man thinking it was him he brought the best description and he said do so to Mordecai and let not one word fail I want to open the book of remembrance over someone it is true that God the Bible says bring me he says concerning my work command ye me the idea is bring to remembrance and compel me by my word to come through for you in that area I want to decree and declare over someone who has been forgotten there are people today you knew them before and after yet they will pass you with no sense of regard to reward you I have met many of such people in my life 
they will show me photos with now presidents photos with now global ceos and at the point of infancy they cried with them they stood with them do you not know that the wine pressers forgetting joseph added two years to his captivity joseph pleaded with him and said when you go to the king please advocate my innocence and the man went to the palace and forgot him men can forget but in the name of jesus whoever has forgotten you whether forgotten your promotion whether forgotten the contract whether forgotten to lift you the name of jesus here at this conference i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be opened now do you believe that you will marvel and wonder i'm not motivating you i'm imparting something on your life you did not come to church with hallelujah praise the name of the lord now hear me i'm going to pray for everybody now but this prayer is particularly respectfully speaking to the church of the lord jesus christ especially across here do you know that there is a spirit that makes men to only receive from afar they never come to be planted in the house of god every city has enough people to fill up every church without competition prejudice or jealousy there are more than enough people in any territory to fill up the church and have god's people being served with the truth but there are spirits that hinder men when the feast was ready he said go and call people and one was given an excuse i just married i need to have time with my wife another person said i just built a house and he said go to the highway and the byway and compel them to come is the greek word anakazo there is an energy of the spirit that can compel men from where they are the same grace that came upon the ark of noah he did not need to talk to the animals one by one two by two seven by seven they came until the ark was filled i want to release that grace truly there is a grace for in gathering that calls men it is important that the local assemblies here represented have sufficient people that call upon the name of the lord therefore i stand with every man of god who has labored in this city labored in this region for the kingdom may this place rest upon you rest upon your church rest upon your ministry in the name of jesus christ the grace that compels the attention of a city the bible says it was noised abroad that jesus was in town who noised it we do not know but there are angels that herald glad tidings and compel men to come and see what is happening John Knox said, you set yourself on fire and the world will come to watch you burn. In fact, scripture says it this way, that where the carcasses are, there the eagles gather. Hallelujah. Is it alright if I speak about your finances? Please, don't accept poverty. It's a satanic thing that is plaguing Africa listen to me now when it has to do with the subject of wealth and abundance there is a negative side to it that must be corrected materialism and such an unguarded loss for money so for most people who talk about money it's not from the standpoint of revelation and a desire for comfort and the advancement of the kingdom it's just an obsession it's a channel to market and sell lost it is the reason why when people receive these graces it, it leads to all kinds of things that you do not imagine but nobody should ever preach you into accepting poverty it does danger and harm to the dignity of your own life the purposes of God and even the dignity of a nation are we together the Bible gave a parable a story in the book of Ecclesiastes that there was a poor wise man he says that man by his wisdom when certain cities came to attack a nation by his wisdom, he offered a strategic security solution and the city was saved but he said that poor man was not remembered and he says here is the conclusion wisdom is better than strength but a poor man's wisdom is despised 
and his words are not heard. No man remembered the same poor man. From infancy, I made up my mind, infancy of ministry, that I will never advocate poverty. I will balance and teach people character, consecration, doctrine, and the purpose of wealth. But not under my watch will I raise a poor people. I will not ask wealthy people to come. I will raise people from within. You see. Hallelujah. And the scripture I found is Genesis 17 and verse 6. Please give it to us and then I speak over your life. Don't be tired of receiving. It's a good bargain. You are standing for a few hours and reprogramming the next decade of your life. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, he said to Isaac. And I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee.